Hello, Bear Bull Traders. Um, um, I'd like to you know, introduce this video that you're going to watch. This is uh, uh, being recorded with one of our active traders, Adventure Dog, and he's done a great job um, putting some uh, risk control parameter and how you actually implement it in your account and if you're industri uh, an industry trader platform. I, you know, I, I, I really appreciate what he did for us and I encourage everyone to watch this video. And one of the great things about this community is, you know, we learn all from each other. And this is something that I myself were not really, um, you know, knowledgeable about. By watching this video now, I can actually implement these parameters and, uh, you know, manage my risk and manage my account much better to become a more consistent trader. So with having said that, uh, I appreciate Adventure Doug and Robert who, um, you know, put a lot of, uh, they're putting a lot of thought and, um, you know, effort on, and, you know, helping and supporting other traders in risk management um, i'd like to invite you to um, watch this video and hopefully helps you this video helps you to become a better trader thanks guys hey this is adventure dog and i want to share with you guys risk controls risk controls are the most valuable thing i have learned about in my trading career in my head i think about them in three ways one they're guaranteed to save me money Two, they're guaranteed to save me from my emotional self. And three, they make me a better trader. If you have no concept of what risk controls are, go to uh, bearabletraders.com. We have so many great resources on DOS. Go to our foreign forum, type in risk control. Abil has uh, added a really great post about risk control that'll give you a really good uh, foundation of understanding what they are and understanding each field. Um, the four most important risk controls are max loss, max position loss, number of shares tradable per day, and trading time frame limits. Most brokers or platforms should have some form of risk control. You just have to figure out how to access them. I use DOS, so this will be about DOS. We're going to talk about what they are and why they're so amazing on many different levels. So a, a risk control, it's just, it's just a limit that the platform you trade on puts on your account. If you've got a trading plan with rules, the risk controls enforce your rules. That's how they're, all they are. So we can do these two within DOS, and these two we have to email or call them. We're gonna talk about all of them right now. So let's go to DOS, let's go to trade, account, and right click on whatever you trade in your paper or your reel. I'm gonna do the paper one so I don't mess with my real one. Right click on it, hit open risk control page. This web page pops up. There's a lot of stuff here which you can understand from the forum post, but right now we're going to talk about three things only max loss, position total loss, and enable auto stop. So if we have our trading plan and our max loss per day is a percent of our account size or a hard number, let's just use 300, our trading plan says if we ever hit this number, we're going to stop trading. Yet, unfortunately, the reality is as follows. We make our trading plan when we're calm, when we're not under duress, when we're not stressed out, and we're thinking clearly. We know this is a smart move, but to enforce these rules, we're in a completely different state of mind. We're stressed. Maybe we just lost money. Maybe we have too much adrenaline because now we're actually trading in the market. So the idea that we can enforce rules when we're so stressed out and emotional after we've made them when we're so calm and clear-headed it's just not reality if you've traded you know this to be true and if you haven't traded and you don't think it's true you're gonna have that feeling you're gonna hit max loss in a day and you're gonna be looking at your charts and you're gonna convince yourself that you just need to make one good trade and the second you make that one good trade to get your money back you've officially broken your rule and you're down the slippery slope of bending rules, convincing yourself that rules can be broken, especially if it works out in your favor. That's the worst part. When you break a rule and it works out in your favor because you have a false sense of reality, of security. Okay, so max loss, 300. If you click this, type it in, when net PNL reaches this value, first layer of protection is you. it'll disallow new orders. You can't place a new order through DOS during that day. Second layer of protection, enable auto stop. Without this, this only disallows new orders. It doesn't close down the position. So this $300 unrealized net PL could turn into 
a thousand dollar net realized P P and L if you don't close the account yourself. I mean, close the position yourself. So, but if you click enable auto stop, when your max loss loss of three hundred dollars is hit, it closes your position automatically. Whether you're long or short, it'll close it. So I struggle with this thinking about I can't even trust myself to close it. And, and then I realized, no, I'm trusting myself right now. I'm smart enough to realize I often make dumb decisions in the market. So let me put my max loss, loss on. Let me enable auto stop. And now I've done the smart thing. I've protected my future self. Amazing feeling. Okay. Then the position total loss. Um, the idea here is in your trading plan, do you have such bad risk reward that you can have one trade that eats eats up your entire max loss? Meaning that if you have one trade and you hit $300 negative on that first trade, boy, that's a horrible trade. That's a horrible risk reward. So you can protect yourself by saying, I want a, I want a $90 position total loss, just for example. Meaning that if one position I'm in, if the realized and unrealized of that stock uh, for that day hits $90, it's going to automatically stop me out. I can still trade because I'm not at max loss, but it just protects myself from making one super dumb trade. I personally don't use this, but I think I've messed around with it and tried it, and I think it's great for some people. Okay, so now why is this so amazing and groundbreaking specifically for me? Not only does it save me money by never allowing me to go over a max loss, I've hit 10 times max loss before in the past, and that's reality. If my personal max loss in the past has been 1,000 and I hit negative ten thousand dollars that's ten times max loss you know what that does that destroys my bank account but way more importantly you got to think to yourself how do you get to ten times max loss you don't get to ten times max loss by trading smart setups and executing good risk reward nope there's only one way. You overtrade, revenge trade, you emotionally trade, you have deer in the headlights, you have a Hulk smash day. You do everything wrong. Once you do everything wrong and after that's over with, you question your confidence in yourself. And then after you do that, there's only one thing left to do. You question your trust in yourself. And you realized if you did this today, knowing that you were only supposed to lose a max of 1,000 and you've lost 10,000, the next time you're in the market, you're going to you're going to realize what's stopping me from losing 10,000 again. I've already proven to myself I can do it. I can't just resolve not to do it again. I already told myself I wouldn't do it. Now you don't trust yourself and now you can't trade smart. You trade out of fear and you trade to protect your money from yourself. You no longer can trade smart. That's why Risk controls are so amazing. They allow you to never have that feeling of losing confidence and trust in yourself from one bad day of trading. Maybe you had a 10 consecutive day hot streak where you felt great, you traded smart, and you were green 10 days, which I've done before. And then on the 11th day, you not only lose and have a red day, but to maintain your streak, you over trade and you don't have risk controls. And at the end of that 11th day, you've lost all of your 10 day profit and then some and now you're questioning if you're a good trader and why are you trading you forget your 10 day green streak of doing great and feeling good and you just focus on one bad day and you lose trust in yourself well if you have a max loss let's just again say 300 you will never have that those feelings of losing trust in that way that's why it's amazing and that's why i highly recommend everyone considering this so the other two things we can do in dos are number of shares per day where you can limit the number of shares traded per day 
let's say you trade in thousand share increments and you only would ideally love to have five trades a day not saying that's good or bad let's just saying that's what it is which means you buy something for a thousand shares you sell it at a close for a thousand shares that's two thousand shares traded per day you only want to let yourself make five trades for example that means you have ten thousand shares traded per day you email DOS say I want a max number of shares traded per day at ten thousand Again, once you go over 10,000, you will automatically be locked out of making future trades. And just an FYI, it will always allow you to close a position no matter what. Even if you're over the 10,000 or you're at 9,000, it doesn't matter. You can always close. Uh, you can always close your position. Why is that amazing? Well, if you trade in thousand lot increments and you only want to trade 10,000, but some days you've traded 150,000 shares and like 60 tickets or something, which I've done before, and you're like, how did this happen? I have no idea. What the heck did I just do? How am I going to not do this tomorrow? I'm going to tell myself I'm not going to do it tomorrow, but can you believe yourself? No, you can't. So that is a miserable feeling of losing trust in yourself. If you lock in 10,000 shares, bam. You can't over trade, revenge trade, and emotionally trade more than one, two, three tickets, right? That's nothing. And then once you do it once or twice and you're locked out, you're going to sit back in your chair and realize this is a horrible feeling. I didn't lose a lot of money, but I made so many bad decisions where I can't even participate in the market. I got to get better, and you will. And lastly, trading time frame limits. Um, let's say you have in your trading plan, you don't want to trade in the first five minutes, but you constantly do and you lose trust in yourself to follow your rules or you don't want to trade in the chop lunch hour and you do and you always lose money. Email DOS, give them time frames you don't want to trade. DOS will lock you out from being able to trade. You can always open DOS. It just won't let you, um, it won't fill your orders. As soon as that time frame is over, you can trade again. Again, trust issue gone. You can't lose trust in yourself in these ways with these risk controls. That's why it's so amazing. Now, here's the caveat. Here's the but, which someone in our chat room experienced and I personally experienced. All you have to do is resubmit these risk controls and DOS will change them in a heartbeat. You lose $300, you're like, F this. I don't give an F. I'm trading to make my money back. I'm increasing this to 600 you resubmit, bam, you can trade in like 5-10 minutes probably because DOS is fast and now you've broken your rule and these thresholds, these limits are meaningless. And I did that and I lost double max loss and I, you know what, I called them and said, how can I control this? And we talked about it. You know what they told me? They told me I can lock in the rules in this manner. So I emailed them. Per our phone conversation, you have my request and permission to lock the following limits until this day. This was the first time I did this, which was two weeks. I locked it for two weeks. Here's the big, big kicker. Under no circumstance will you allow these limits to be altered, even if I request a change through email over the phone or through the risk control page. These limits shall be locked at this date, and on this date I can change them, at which point I reevaluate what it is and I relock them. So, yes, I don't love that I can't trust myself. You can badger me for that. But I love that I am aware of that and that 90% of people fail. And this is a huge reason why. So I trust myself right now to make the right decision, which is to protect my future self. And I lock these rules in. So no matter how emotional is I am, I can't change them. I've been in this for two years now, and I only started doing this about a year and a half ago. I highly recommend all new traders and seasoned traders to highly consider this for yourself and how they can work for you and not against you and to help to protect yourself. So thank you so much. If you have any comments or any questions, please post comments. And I hope to see some comments on people adding the risk controls. You know why? Because when you do it, other people in our community will do it. And hopefully we can trend in that direction of protecting ourselves and protecting the other people in our chat room, helping them, doing what we can to help others, guys. Thank you very much. This is Robert H. from Bearable Traders, and I approve this message.